Hello, church. So I've never been mistaken for a handyman, mechanic, woodworker, but I do know this, that the right tool at the right time can make a world of difference. You know, that's the way I feel about memorizing scripture and why I think it's important for us to have portions of scripture, verses, passages, uh, biblical ideas committed to memory because each one of those things becomes for us a tool in our tool belt to pull out and use at the, at the right moment. And that can make all of the difference. That's why we've been focusing on memorizing scripture again together and our verse for for July was from John chapter 14 verse 27 and it was Jesus speaking when he said peace I leave you my peace I give you not as the world gives do I give to you do not let your heart be troubled nor let it be fearful great verse to use especially in these times of turmoil well it's time to add to our tool belt and so we want to send out for you again another verse and this verse is going to be familiar to many of us and maybe you already have this tool in your belt but it's from philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 a great tool to have in times of turmoil and anxiety and that verse simply says be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. That's a great verse to bring to mind when, when we were tempted to be anxious in these days of uncertainty. To pull that out and remind yourself that the first response is not fear and anxiety. The first response is coming to the Lord in prayer and seeking that which can give peace. So look for that card. It's coming to you in the mail again, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. We're going to work on memorizing that together, but even more importantly, we're going to work on using that promise and that indication as a tool for us in these troubled times. Church, I miss you. Looking forward to being together soon, but until then, know that you're being prayed for and know that you are in the hands of the one who knows what's going on.